good afternoon and welcome to our awards uh, ceremony this afternoon here at the University of North Carolina Greensboro. We're absolutely delighted with the level of playing this year and we have all kinds of people to thank. But we're going to start with our um, host family here at NT, uh, NTC and they've been wonderful. The student support, staff support is great and now I would like um, Dr. Thomas Heflin and Dr. Garrett Klein who are the faculty here to come out and receive your recognition. There we go. We were, so, we were so happy to work with them. They took a risk when we contacted them back in the fall because we had no idea where this COVID thing was going to go. And they've been wonderful to work with. So we have a plan for each of you. To Dr. Garrett Klein and Dr. Thomas Heflin, co-host of UNC Greensboro. The NTC family celebrates your wonderful dedication and service in hosting the 2021 competition. The success and excitement of this event will be remembered for years to come. <laughs> Setting this thing up is really selfless. There's so much work that goes on behind the scenes. So. Anyway, we're delighted to work with these two fine gentlemen and instructors. They're really, really great. Now, uh, next, um, I would like to uh, introduce a gentleman who's worked with us for many, many years, and we've newly appointed him to be associate director with me for the National Public Competition, and it's Dr. Bill Stolen from Messiah College, who's been in, chair, in charge of the judges all day, so you get a chance to meet him. So I'm looking forward to that. He's a great guy. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for being here and your support of these incredible students. How about a hand for all of the performers in all of the divisions? As you know, this year we had many things in our lives happen virtually, and the Trumpet Ensemble Divisions were no exception. Uh, so I'd like to announce the winners of the Virtual High School Trumpet Ensemble Division that is so graciously sponsored by Whiff and Jeanette Rudd. In third, yeah, please, let's give them a hand. In third place, Coppell High School from Coppell, Texas. I should add, they were the winners of a $500 cash prize. In second place, and the winners of a $1,000 cash prize, the Charlotte Youth Trumpet Ensemble. And the winners of the Virtual High School Trumpet Ensemble Division this year with a $2,000 cash prize, Flower Mound High School. Moving on to the Yamaha Virtual College Trumpet Ensemble Division. In third place are the winners of a $750 cash prize, Texas A&M Kingsville Jalisco. <laughs> In second place are the winners of a $1,500 cash prize, Michigan State. And in first place, the winners of the Yamaha Virtual College Trumpet Ensemble Division and a $3,000 cash prize. Let's congratulate UC Boulder. <laughs> this year, the Board of Directors of the National Trumpet Competition decided to honor our founder uh, and Executive Director, Dr. Dennis Elbrock, who literally started the, the National Trumpet Competition in his kitchen many, many years ago, and it has grown to be the largest uh, trumpet competition of its type in the world, actually. And we're all proud to be part of that, so as board members decided to support this new division and name it after uh, Dr. Ellerbrock for his service um, in the United States Army and for his service to the trumpet community by starting NTC. So this is the inaugural um, edition of the Dr. Dennis Ellerbrock Military Band Excerpt Division. In third place, the winner of a $750 cash prize, Julia Gill.
In second place, and the winner of a $1,500 cash prize, Ross Mitchell. And the inaugural winner of the Dr. Dennis Edelbrock Military Band Excerpt Division in the $3,000 cash prize, James Vaughn. <laughs> Next, we'll move on to the John G. Grubb Memorial Junior Division. We'll bring those competitors to the stage. In third place, and the winner of a $250 cash prize, Madison Turrenty. In second place, and the winner of a $500 cash prize, Bennett King. And in first place, the winner of the John G. Grubbs Memorial Junior Division and the $750 cash prize. Let's congratulate Aiden Spicer. <laughs> Great, moving on to the Shilke Music Products High School Solo Division. Let's please welcome those competitors to the stage. In third place, and the winner of a $500 cash prize, James McCaffrey. In second place, and the winner of a $1,000 cash prize, Oliver Robinson. In first place, and the winner of the Shilke Music Products High School Solo Division, and a $2,000 cash prize, let's congratulate Christopher Petrella. <laughs> and now we bring out the competitors of the Vincent Bach Undergraduate Solo Division. In third place, and the winner of a $750 cash prize, Sig Stephenson. In second place, and the winner of a $1,000 cash prize, James Vaughn. And in first place, the winner of the Vincent Bach Undergraduate Solo Division and the $3,000 cash prize, Jacob Rilko. <laughs> and now we'll bring out the competitors in the Picket Brass and Blackbird Trumpets Graduate Solo Division. In third place, and the winner of a $750 cash prize, Maximilian McNaught. In second place, and the winner of a $1,000 cash prize, Joseph T. Cash. And in first place, the Picket Brass and Blackburn Trumpets Graduate Solo Division, a $3,000 cash prize. Let's congratulate Anna Sokyan. <laughs> Each year we put um, around 75 or 80 judges to work doing preliminary rounds, semifinals, quarters, and finals. Um, and they all do tremendous work, volunteer work, on behalf of the National Trumpet Competition, and we owe them a great debt of thanks. Um, our finals panel today, well, they were introduced before, I want to make sure to recognize them again. This is quite an esteemed panel from the United States Marine Band, the President's own. Let's say thank you to Amy McCabe. Philadelphia, originally from Atlanta, now in Philadelphia, the CEO and founder.
founder of Play on Philly, a tremendous El Sistema group in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Stanford Thompson. A well-known trumpet player, recording artist, trumpet teacher, and truly the godfather of trumpet, Vince DiMartino. <laughs> Uh, for all competitors, we're going to meet in the outdoor area so that we can get a photo of everyone to commemorate this year. Uh, we want to thank all of you here today for your support of the National Trumpet Competition. This is an incredible event that really uh, allows us to support students in really unique ways. So thank you so much for your time and efforts in bringing them here. Uh, parents, especially those of you traveling with performers, good for you and thanks for the investment uh, in their lives. Uh, we also want to thank this incredible live stream crew that's here today, Mike Cano and his team that do such an amazing job archiving all the good things. <laughs> and finally, uh, happy to introduce to you again the Executive Director of the National Trumpet Competition and its founder, Dr. Dennis Edelbrock. so much, Bill. It's really humbling to stand in front of you here knowing our webcast uh, covers probably something like 36 states of students. And that's really something for those of you who made the finals. That's really, really an honor. So um, let me just quick make a quick um, funding plea. Uh, the National Trumpet Competition is entirely sponsored supported. We have no backup organization. We're on our own. And every year I start at zero, and off we go. Um, so right now, we have one unsponsored division and so we're hoping to get sponsorship for that. And just so you know, we have uh, provided educational and performance opportunities for over 14,000 students uh, over our 30 year history. So it's really good. So it's really, a, we've really sort of revolutionized the, the level of playing in this country. And it's unbelievable. We're just, we're just, every year we're just kind of scratching our heads trying to figure out where this is going. But it's really been fantastic. So anyway, many thanks to you parents and teachers. And keep our funding needs in mind if you want. You can get a hold of me if you'd like at info uh, at nationaltrumpetcomp.org. As you would kind of expect. Thank you for being with us. Safe travels. And I hope you enjoyed your time here in Greensboro. Take care.